Good morning YouTube, how you doing? Feeling pretty good today. Woke up pretty early. I've not had a coffee yet, but I'm walking around this beautiful, beautiful area and uh, enjoying the sunshine. I thought I'd give you some, some pearls of wisdom that I'd gleaned over my 40 years of being a Rob Chapman <clears throat> on this planet about songwriting because it's something that I'm really passionate about and it's something that I don't normally, well, hardly ever talk about really because it's kind of a personal thing and I think a lot of people have their own slant on how you write a song, what the process is and and normally it's a, it's a physical lesson with a guitar or a piano and it's about modes and chords well, I've done some of those as well and they're really good because the aspects of them are good because you need to have the nuts and bolts of how to play before you can write a song obviously but there are um, a few things I want to share with you that I've always done and just considered to be the norm until I really thought about it and realised they're absolutely not the norm and I'm not saying that I'm the best songwriter on earth by any <laughs> any step of imagination but, but I, I certainly can write a song I've written many and um, and I think I've cracked the way that I do it best and so if I share that with you maybe it would help you if you're trying to write music which I hope you are so the first thing is you need to be really creative and that might sound like a sort of an obvious thing to say really but no, really creative and the way I do that is as much as possible I try and live every single day completely differently um, because I have noticed over the years that it's really easy to fall into a routine and do shit the same every day. You wake up, get out of bed, you take a piss exactly the same way, you look at exactly the same part of the window and eventually you get bored getting out of bed and taking a piss <laughs> because it's just the same thing every single day. You put the tie on, the mirror the same way, you go to work the same way, you drive the same route, you eat the same breakfast. It's not a creative way of living. And actually what I've noticed is that time seems to speed up because your brain almost ignores the bits you've done again and again and again and desperately searches for stuff that's different. It's almost the sort of the golden elixir, the, the, the route to immortality is if you can actually live every day differently, your brain is full of all this new information and seeking to be different is a creative path that puts you in a creative mindset and that's really what you need so you get out of bed you get out of bed with your left foot and then you get out of bed in your hands and then you slide out of bed <laughs> you know what I mean you look for differences in days even if it's just when you put your laptop on in the morning before you start editing a video make a concerted effort to open a window and listen to the birds rather than listening to the the wake-up sound of the laptop so anyway, live every day completely differently and it will put you in that creative mindset. Before you know it, you'll be, you'll be thinking and looking for creative things to do as a kind of a vent of all that creational energy. Oh, I've just spotted somebody, this is really fun, I spotted somebody living or camping on this golf course near my house. And they're, uh, they're doing a bit, of a bit of a cheeky, bit of a cheeky let's live here. <laughs> <laughs> Get on them. It's a free world. It's a good place. I'm actually moving from here pretty soon, so they can have it. Uh, so that's tip one. Bit of a strange tip, but bear with me. I have stranger. Um, I think that human beings live in a way which is almost a continual pursuit of balance. We seek balance in our lives. We're looking for things that balance us. So you're looking for a partner that, that has qualities in them that restores a balance in your life, or you're looking for a music that does that, or a food that does that. It's just a continual search for things that, that balance the yin and yang inside us, you know, whatever you want to call it. The, the way you are as a person, if you're really shy and you want somebody really confident, if you're if you're really angry, you're looking for music that expresses that anger in you and gets it out of you. It's a search and a seek for things that balance you. It's important to be mindful of that because if you are 
if you're a really, really happy person, um, writing a kind of music that doesn't balance that feeling or opinion is going to be counterintuitive to the mechanics in you. It's just a personal opinion. So I think it's good to, to express the balance in you with the music that you write. And just write stuff that you like, because there have been many occasions when I've tried to write things in bands that I just didn't feel at all. And it's a waste of time. I notice that when, I, when I'm really writing, well there are two kinds of song that come out. The first kind of song is the song that you just get the whole thing inside uh, sort of four or five minutes. You get the lyrics, you get the, the melody, almost like you're just singing it suddenly. Um, you get the chord progression in the back of your head. Um, and that's very rare. It happens to me maybe one in every sort of four or five songs. And that, I think, is your mind um, catharsizing, dealing with struggles, issues, things that needed to churn over and spewing out this piece of creative vent to deal with whatever it's dealing with. <laughs> Which is a bit like, if you think about it, a dream. Because when you dream, it's your mind, I think, processing the information from the day, from the week, from the month, from your life, and giving you kind of a window into the way it's processing it. <clears throat> That's just my opinion. So being in a dreamlike state is really conducive to songwriting. Now, there are many people who would do that by taking drugs and drinking and all sorts of crap like that. I absolutely do not condone that. I think it's a stupid thing to do. I mean, people do what they want to do, but I have absolutely, contrary to many people's beliefs, I have never taken drugs and I never would take drugs. I think it's a stupid thing. It's a waste of time, waste of life, waste of money. I've seen too many friends go to mental homes, literally two. Um, and there are other ways of doing it. <clears throat> For example, I write better music when I'm really, really sleepy. So really early in the morning or really late at night when your brain is still functioning in the way that it is to live but it's beginning to switch off all the bits it just it's gonna not need soon because you're gonna doze off you're in a dreamlike state I find I write better music when I'm really tired so bear that in mind um, <clears throat> and that like I said that's that's the best kind of songwriting because it's coming from a subconscious place. I try as much as possible not to alter or affect what I get at all. If I get a lyric and it seems weird, fuck it, whatever. That's what came out of my mind. If I really need to tailor it because people in the band don't like it, then I suppose that's fine and we, we find a way around it. So that's how I like my songwriting to be. <laughs> the other way is, and that's from a songwriter perspective as a vocalist. Now the other way around is um, if you're a guitar player and you don't and you don't sing, which is what I was, sometimes you'll get a riff or a lick or just a, 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 a connective piece like a bridge or, or something, and you think well, this is great, where well, you're jamming and you get this piece, but it's not a song. And um, my first manager taught me something that was really valuable he said this guy called Steve Lee he said if you uh, if you think you've got a song if you can play it on a really simple instrument like a piano or an acoustic guitar and sing it and it holds its own it's a song if you can't it's not he's absolutely right there is a, there's a big difference between having a little piece of guitar that's a riff or a concept and then turning that into a song. Now here's how I do it. I collect them. I have a file. I call them, uh, I, I learned this from Joe Satriani. I have uh, chapters one, chapters two, chapters three, you know, chapters in A, chapters in B, chapters in C sharp minor. And they all have a certain vibe. So I'll try and write bluesy, dark, shoegaze. Uh, grungy Bay Area, 1987, you know, that kind of thing. 
and then often on the, they'll connect sometimes. I'll get sort of four or five that are of a similar vibe, maybe the same key even. And you can kind of connect them like Lego and see if it works. And sometimes you might just come up with a piece of genius that you weren't really expecting to, that's pure fluke, which is kind of the David Bowie method of writing lyrics. He would get newspapers and magazines and chop up random phrases and then randomize them in a hat and pull them out. So I don't really recommend this kind of writing because it's not, it's not a natural um, catharsis of, of brain information into, into a creative output. It's, it's connecting things, although there are elements of creation in it because I suppose you've written a riff or a lick. So yeah, I hope these tips are of some kind of use to you. I'm sorry if you're expecting to see a guitar or something. But today wasn't really a guitar day, although it kind of is every day for me. Um, I think the best advice I can give you, other than what I've just told you, is that um, everything you write is correct. Everything you write is great. Everything you write is is right. Because it's really, uh, you know, it's up to you. It's not up to anybody else. And also, if you write something and you really think it's rubbish, you might find on a planet of billions and billions of people that it's somebody's favourite song. So, have you ever written a song? Have you ever failed or tried really hard and nothing's come out? Have you been really successful at writing songs? Is it something you enjoy? Is it something that you absolutely dread? Let me know in the comment section below. Please subscribe, take it easy. Chappers out. There was one last bit I forgot to say, which is that and a lot of you are going to hate me for saying this, but actually having quite a few guitars really helps, or quite a few instruments, because if you look out and you see lots of beautiful instruments, one of them probably will give you this magnetic urge to pick it up, and, uh, and if you pick it up and you want to play, it's just going to inspire you to, to make music. So the more guitars, probably the more inspiration to pick one up.